Good morning and welcome to our collective worship together this morning. My name is David, um, for those of you who don't know me, and I'm one of the team at the churches in Fursk. Uh, so we look after lots of churches all across Fursk. And it's great to be with you this morning. Now this morning, we're going to think about a little bit about a man named Solomon. I wonder if any of you have come across Solomon before. Well, before we get on to Solomon, I wonder, do you remember a time when it was nice and warm and sunny outside? Just a little bit different to today, isn't it? With all the snow falling down around us. Well, when it's warm and sunny outside, what, what I need to do, because I'm, I'm going a little bit bold on the back of my head, you see, so I have to put some sun cream on the back of my head so that I don't get sunburns. Now, I think that's a really wise thing to do. Um, I think my mum thinks it's the wise thing to do as well. She keeps on reminding me that as I get older and older, and as I lose more and more hair, I'm gonna to have to put on more and more sun cream to stop myself getting burnt. But actually, it's a really, it's a really good and positive thing for me to do to put on that sun cream, because no one likes getting sunburnt, do they? And actually, but getting sunburned can have really detrimental impacts on our health later in life. So it's good to be able to try and protect ourselves um, early on if we can, to get on top of it now. I wonder if you can think of times in your life, maybe when you've done something wise. Maybe there are wise things that you do in the way that you live your lives. One of the wise things that I have to do, if, to do with some of the work I do with church is that when, when the weather is icy and frosty, if I'm the first person at church in the morning, I've got to clear the path and put some grit down so that people don't slip and slide. Because it's important that we do good, good and wise things, isn't it? So I wonder what maybe wise things you, you do in your lives. Maybe have a think now and you can pause the video and take a few answers. Now, there, there are many wise sayings in the world. And I wonder if you've heard the saying, look before you leap. Have you heard that one before? I wonder what you think it might mean. What do you think it means to look before you leap? Again, you can pause the video here and take an answer or two. Well, it could mean that we want to check where we're gonna land before we jump off a wall. However, it also has this kind of wider meaning that we should think about the consequences of what we're going to do before we do it. Now, the Holy Book for Christians is called the Bible. Um, my Bible is about this big. It's got lots of, it's got 66 different books in it that make up the whole story of the Bible that tell us all about the life of Jesus and the life before Jesus. And this book contains many wise sayings. And many of them can be found in a book called the Book of Proverbs. I'm going to read, you, read to you now one of those Proverbs. So this is from Proverbs chapter 19 and it's verse 20. And it says, Listen to advice and accept instruction that you may gain wisdom for the future. I wonder what you think that proverb might mean. Can I read it for us again? Listen to advice and accept instruction that you, may gain, that you may gain wisdom for the future. Why don't we have a quick think now of what do we think that might mean? And then if you want to pause the video and just take a couple of answers of what people think it could mean. Okay, thank you. So I'm going to read for us another proverb. This is from the start of the book of Proverbs. This is from Proverbs chapter 1. The Proverbs of Solomon, son of David, king of Israel, for learning about wisdom and instruction, for understanding words of insight, for gaining instruction in wise dealing, righteousness, justice and equity. Now I'm sure there's some words in there which may be a little bit new to us. 
for gaining instruction in wise dealing, righteousness, justice and equity. Another way of saying that is receiving instruction for prudent behaviour, doing what is right and just and fair. The, the things mentioned in these verses, oh, they're important and they tell us what the Proverbs are for. They're for helping us to behave well, to kind of be playing our part in society. They help us to, to be wise, to do what is right. But there's one thing that these verses don't mention. They don't mention being clever. Because sometimes when we talk about wisdom, we associate wisdom and cleverness. But actually, there's a difference between being clever and being wise. It's possible to be both, but they're two different things. I wonder if you can think of how cleverness and wisdom are different. What do you think the differences are? So I'm going to tell us a story now, and I want you to have a think about what the differences might be as I tell the story. So once there were two men called Jack and Joe. Now Jack, he was very clever. And Joe, well, he wasn't as clever. Jack had passed every exam with top marks and was good at absolutely everything that he tried. Joe wasn't. Jack had lots of money and Joe didn't. One day, both men, Jack and Joe, decided to build a house. Jack was so clever that he thought he knew everything there was to know. So he got to work straight away. Joe didn't. He realised that he didn't know much about building a house. So he asked for some of his friends, who were builders, what he needed to do. After he had found out all of the information, he started to build. So now when Jack and Joe had both finished building their houses, they'd worked hard for a long time. And by this time, it was now winter. And one night, there was a huge storm. And the wind blew and the rain poured. And both houses got a blasting. Both of them were made from good materials and they were both about the same size, but only one house fell down. It was Jack's house that fell down. Why? Because he had built it on a swamp by mistake. He hadn't looked at the land that he was building on and he hadn't built any foundations. Joe's house didn't fall down. Joe had checked with other people. He had asked for help to get his house right. And he had learnt all about building the right foundations. So we can see from that story that being clever doesn't always make us wise. Sometimes we need to ask for help. Sometimes we need to listen to other people. Sometimes we need to sit back and think things through before we start doing them. Sometimes we need to look before we leap. Now that bit at the end there, that bit about foundations, that's interesting, isn't it? Because it tells us that actually the foundations are really important and that making good and wise Decisions and choices about our foundations are really important. And I wonder what are the foundations that we're building our lives on? Are we being good friends? Are we helping other people? Are we trying to be the best person that we can be? Another proverb states this, all that glitters is not gold. All that glitters is not gold. Sometimes when we get a toy and the package uh, makes it look amazing, but when we open it, we are disappointed by the contents. 
This proverb is telling us that just because something looks amazing on the outside, it isn't necessarily great on the inside. This saying applies to people as well as toys and packages. It doesn't matter what people look like on the outside. What they are like on the inside is far more important. Are they patient? Are they kind? Are they generous? Are they loving? Are they joyful? Maybe let's take a moment now and just be quiet and think about that proverb. What is it saying to us? What do we want to be building our foundations on? What do we want our insides to be like? So while we're quiet, I'm going to lead us in a prayer, which is our way of talking to God. And maybe if you're not a Christian or you're not sure about God, then take this time just to be peaceful and quiet and still and use it as a moment of reflection. So dear Lord, help us to be wise. Help us to ask other people for help when we need it. Help us to be good on the inside, not just on the outside. Amen. Amen. And now we're going to pray the Lord's Prayer. So the words are going to appear on the screen. And as Christian, this is just a prayer that we pray um, with the church around the world. Because as Christian, this is the prayer that we all pray. Because it's the prayer that Jesus taught us to pray. So if you would like to join in, then please do. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Amen. Well, I hope that you have a really great day wherever you are learning today, whether you're in school or you're at home, whatever, whatever situation you find yourself in, I hope that you really enjoy your learning and that we can think a bit more together about what it means to be wise. So take care and God bless. I look forward to seeing you again soon.